It's a labor of love. Ah, Ami Warner has been working on botanical formulas for 20 years. It's an exciting time for us. There are women all over the industry making big moves. But finding her products are tough. This is fertile hemp seed oil. That key ingredient has kept her oils and creams off most store shelves. I don't extract cannabinoids. I harvest them and infuse them into fats. The end product, a whole health and beauty line called Cannabis Basics. My products are non-intoxicating. They're less than 0.3% THC. And they're denatured. It's, it would be like trying, it would be like drinking a bottle of rubbing alcohol to get to get a cocktail buzz. They, you wouldn't do it. Great for your feet and hands, but also just great for any kind of muscle or joint pain. But Washington voters legalizing recreational pot hasn't all been high times. I'm in a really precarious situation right now. I just lost my banking after 12 out of the last 18 years, my business banking. In the meantime, Oz Hemp Business has sprouted her political activism. I consider myself an accidental activist, actually. Um, I, I never intended to be. Last session in Olympia, AW helped craft medical marijuana legislation. Bill 1888 passed in the House, but died in the Senate. You take it, put it on your temples, your forehead. Ultimately, she'd like to see cannabis health and beauty products sold legally in markets like PCC and Whole Foods. I'm in limbo right now. As the pot industry grows, Oz sees a promising future. The most exciting thing for me is to actually see the day where I can not only buy my flour for my cannabinoids, but my hemp seed oil from Washington farmers.